Fox Urgent, Republican leaders in the U.S. House of Representatives say they now want to delay the rollout of the Affordable Care Act for a full year. This is the big story coming right now from Capitol Hill, a shift away from the push to defund Obamacare, now a bill to avoid a government shutdown within days containing this key requirement to postpone the president's signature health care law. I'm Harris Faulkner. This is the Fox Report as we come live to you now, a look at the House floor. And let's take a look now live on Capitol Hill. Action soon to take place at this hour. We're awaiting votes on the changes that the House is adding into their version of the bill now. It could happen at any time. And on the other side of the political aisle, top Democrats say the new plan is already dead on arrival. Some of the loudest criticism coming from Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid, who says senators will vote down the House's new approach. Just a short time ago, the White House doubling down on its opposition to any bill that would touch the president's health care reform. In a statement, the White House said any vote for this new bill is a vote for a government shutdown. Here it is, quote, part of that statement. If the president were presented with H.J. Resolution 59, as amended by these amendments, he would veto the bill. The stakes couldn't be higher. Both sides digging in, and we, as you know, are hurling toward a Monday at midnight deadline when possibly the United States federal government would be lights out for the first time since 1995. A busy Saturday in our nation's capital already. More to come as I've just laid out what we're waiting for tonight. We have Fox team coverage, Chief Political Correspondent Carl Cameron on Capitol Hill, Elizabeth Pran and our Washington Bureau. Let's start with Carl. Where do we stand right now? Well, they are again in this ping pong match of a piece of legislation that would keep the government open Monday at midnight when funding for government services is set to run out. And each time the House passes legislation that would do that, they've added provisions that would either defund, derail, or in this case delay the President's Affordable Care Act. And when it gets to the Senate, Democrats say absolutely not. There's been a, a, a volley back and forth of rhetorical attacks and criticisms from Republicans and Democrats again today. This is the standoff that's existed now for months and with now time running out. There was a statement earlier today from John Boehner outlining what's going to happen. There will essentially be a series of votes tonight that will again change the clean resolution to keep government operati op operating past Monday at midnight. And the, the Republicans in the House will add to it, and Mr. Boehner said the following. The First Amendment delays the President's health care law by one year, and the second permanently repeals Obamacare's medical device tax that's sp sending jobs overseas. We'll also vote on a measure that ensures our troops get paid no matter what. That a reference from House Speaker John Boehner to the possibility that there will be a government shutdown on Monday night. Harry Reid, the Democratic Senate Majority Leader, responded tersely. To be absolutely clear, the Senate will reject both the one-year delay of the Affordable Care Act and the repeal of the medical device tax. After weeks of futile political games from Republicans, we are still at square one. Republicans must decide whether to pass the Senate's clean CR, meaning a continuing resolution keeping the government open, or force what Reid calls a Republican government shutdown. Of course, Republicans adamantly disagree with that. They say, in fact, this is a Democratic shutdown if Harry Reid will not be willing to negotiate in some way and compromise on Obamacare, arguing that the president should do so as well. Uh, Republicans say Obamacare will hurt the economy, will hurt future generations, raise the debt, and isn't doing what it's supposed to do in terms of cu cutting the cost of health care and improving care. We're going to listen here to Daryl Issa, one of the Republican critics, as well as Democrats defending this, saying that Republicans are holding the country hostage to reform a law that's already on the books. Listen. How dare you presume a failure? The fact is, the fact is, this country is based on people saying they won't do things, and at the end of the day, coming together for compromise. We continue to anticipate that there's an opportunity for sensible compromise. Time is running out. The American people are frustrated. It's time to get real. This isn't a game. People will be hurt by your intransigence. Do the right thing. Do your job. Massachusetts Democrat Jim McGovern. Democrats met behind closed doors for a couple of hours. They are soon to trickle out and get ready for some of these votes later this evening. Republicans have a meeting set for 8.30 tonight. Uh, they, are, they appear to be standing firm. This all gets sent to the Senate, assuming something does get passed tonight, Harris. And, of course, some pushback coming from just the American public. If you look at recent polling to uh, Jim McGovern there, would be all those millions of Americans who say they don't want Obamacare, and they say that Republicans are representing them right now. We'll have to see how it plays out. Meanwhile, you heard a lot of rhetoric there from Democrats, but when do Democrats in the Senate plan to formally reject this? 
Well, Monday at 2 o'clock, the Senate will return to work. Uh, they're off for the weekend, and Democratic Majority Leader officials' aides say they're not planning to come back to work on Sunday, and they don't plan to start before 2 o'clock in the afternoon. The clock will be ticking. There'll be 10 hours before midnight at that point. And this game of ping-pong back and forth with the Senate demanding that it just fund the government with no uh, provisions related to Obamacare, Democrats, and Republicans in the House are saying, oh, on the contrary, Obamacare very much must be part of this, uh, remains the standoff. And that 10 hours, the question is whether or not ping pong becomes hot potato uh, with time running out. Should the Senate be able to, again, strip away the Obama provisions and send it back to the House? The question is whether the U.S. House of Representatives would have the time to do something or be sort of left holding the ball, meaning that the House of Representatives, the Republican majority, would have failed to avert a shutdown. Uh, there's a lot of more steps that are going to happen here in the next few days, Harris. By the time we get to Monday, it could be back in the Senate's hands or in the House's hands, and we still don't know. Many, many unanswered questions. That's why these shutdowns usually don't get resolved until the very last minute and often do head into overtime. It's not entirely impossible to see a couple of short minutes or hours on Monday night when the government would technically be shut down before they actually sort things out Monday morning. If they can get a deal, they can probably get through the night just for a few hours, even if it was a little bit overtime. Well, and then there's also this, this whole option, too, that the president could use executive fiat if he thought the two sides were close then to delay this beyond that midnight deadline on Monday. There are whispers around the Hill that, well, maybe we'll go for a 10-day extension to allow ourselves to continue to negotiate. Uh, this has been an ongoing negotiation since the day Obamacare was passed into law and signed by the president. There was opposition to it. No Republican voted for it in the entire debate of it. The two sides are adamantly uh, at odds on this. The idea that there would be some sort of a miraculous compromise before Monday at midnight is pretty slim. So a 10-day extension, whether or not that would make a difference, hmm. perhaps we'll find out. All right. Well, as people can read on our screen there, we are awaiting a couple of important votes on changes to this bill. A big shift we've seen today, Carl, away from defunding Obamacare to delaying it for a year. We'll come back to you as the news warrants. Carl Cameron, thank you very much.